Today, we are building a simple yet highly useful project, an automatic clothes drying stand. This automatic drying stand is designed to keep your clothes dry by retracting when it senses rain. For this project, we'll be using the following components. Arduino UNO, one servo motor to move the drying stand, one raindrop sensor to detect rain, an USB cable to upload the code in Arduino, a double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch, two lithium-ion batteries, jumper wires for connections. Let's start the connections. First, we'll start with the raindrop sensor. This sensor detects rain by measuring moisture on its surface. It has four pins, VCC, GND, D0 and a 0. Take Arduino UNO and insert male to female jumper wires in the sensor module. Connect the VCC pin on the raindrop sensor to the 5V pin on the Arduino. This supplies power to the sensor. Next. Connect the GND pin on the sensor to the GND pin on the Arduino. This completes the circuit for power. Finally, connect the A0 pin from the sensor to the A0 analog input pin on the Arduino. This pin will read the sensor's values to detect rain. Let's move on to connecting the servo motor. The servo has three wires, GND, VCC and signal. Take male to male jumper wires and insert them. First, connect the red VCC wire from the servo motor to the 5V pin on the Arduino to supply power. Next, connect the brown GND wire from the servo motor to a GND pin on the Arduino. Finally, take the orange signal wire from the servo and connect it to digital pin 8 on the Arduino. This pin will send signals to control the rotation of the servo. That's it. Verify the connection according to this circuit diagram. It's time to write some code. Download the code and library files using the link given in the description below. Now open the code file if you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. We'll start by including the servo library, which provides the functions we need to control our servo motor. Next, we create a servo object named MyServo. This object will let us control the servo motor directly. Then, we set up two variables, rain sensor pin for the raindrop sensor, which is connected to a zero and servo pin for the servo, which is connected to digital pin 8. We also set a threshold variable to 700, which helps the Arduino decide when to activate the servo based on sensor readings. In the setup function, we begin by attaching the servo motor to servo pin using the myservo.attach function. This tells the Arduino which pin controls the servo motor. We also set the servo to start at 0 degrees so the stand is initially extended. Next, we define rain sensor pin as an input and start serial communication, which will let us see sensor values in the serial monitor for debugging. Now let's move into the loop function where the main logic happens. We start by reading the rain sensor's value using analog read and store it in sensor value. This value represents the moisture level the sensor is detecting. Then we print this value to the serial monitor to keep track of it and help us adjust the threshold if needed. Now here's the part that makes the stand move. We check if sensor value is below the threshold. If it is, that means rain is detected. When it's raining, we use myservo.write to move the servo to 90 degrees. This action retracts the drying stand to protect the clothes. To ensure the movement is smooth, the servo rotates slowly in small steps until it reaches 90 degrees. If the sensor value is above the threshold, that means it's dry. In this case, the servo slowly moves back to zero degrees, extending the stand. We finish the loop with a one second delay. This gives the sensor a little break between each reading and helps stabilize the system, ensuring it doesn't react too quickly to short-term changes in moisture. That's it.
Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using a USB cable. Then go here and select the port. In the same menu and select board that is Arduino UNO. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Now install the circuit in some house type structure made up of cardboard. And paste the sensor on its roof. And servo like this with the stand. Now plug the DC power jack of the battery holder into the Arduino's barrel jack to power the Arduino directly from the batteries. Switch it on. Let's see the drying stand in action. Right now, the sensor is dry, so the servo keeps the stand open. Now, when raindrops fall on the sensor, the sensor detects the rain and the servo motor smoothly rotates to retract the drying stand, keeping the clothes dry. And when the rain stops, the sensor detects dryness and the stand slowly extends back. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.